Uh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercies endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Praise God, whom he hath redeemed. Do we on? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let me know then. Praise the Lord, everybody. Why don't you clap your hands right where you are and give Jesus a praise tonight? Oh, what a mighty God we serve tonight. God is good. Amen. And we come tonight to celebrate and to lift up the name of Jesus. We are so grateful tonight that the Lord has spared our lives to be back in the house of the Lord tonight and a Tuesday night. Amen. To share the word of God. Amen. Because the word of God is precious in this time that we are living in. And I want to thank God if tonight for everyone. Amen. That the Lord has spared your life to be here. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, God is good. Amen. And I am so grateful, amen, that the Lord has given us another opportunity where we can come together as a family to share the word of God with the people of God. A lot of things could have happened between last night and tonight. Amen. But thank God for the grace of God. We thank God for a pastor, Bishop Barney Brown. Amen. And Lady Brown, we thank God for you. We greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for Pastor Dorothy Campbell down there in Myanmar, Florida. Amen. I greet you, woman of God, and Elder Campbell and the saints from Myanmar. Wonderful greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God, amen, for uh, Minister Smith down there in Florida. Amen. Deacon Mundell down there in Florida. Also evangelist Danis Denai Ogilvy. Amen. My very good friend. Amen. Evangelist Darkus Heat. Awesome woman of God. Amen. Who I love and respect in the Lord. Amen. And I thank God for. Amen. For all the saints of God. That's standing on the wall. It's good to see my friend and my brother tonight. Uh, Deacon Donistan Swaby. God bless you. Thank God for you in the house. God has something for you tonight. It's good to see Missionary Grace Reed in the house. Also Evangelist Sheila Pettiford. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for Missionary Ennis McCoy. Amen. Blessings evermore. Evangelist Pamela Watkins, we thank God for you. We praying for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We will not stop praying for you until you get the miracle. And a matter of fact, the miracle is already done, but we're waiting for the manifestation in its fullness. Glory to God. It's good to see Minister Joy Marshall up there in Limage, along with Assistant Pastor Joan Williams, we thank God for you and all the saints of God up in Limage. Good to see Vandalist carrying down tonight. Amen. God bless you, Missionary Diana Brainhan. We praying for you. We thank God for you. Martina Armstrong, we so glad that you're in the house along with Teresa Hill tonight. Amen. God is truly good. It's good to see Vandalist Susie Smith. Amen. From gospel light, we thank God for you, woman of God. We also greet my friend and my brother. Was with him on Sunday morning. Amen. Bishop Stuart Smith. My God. Awesome gift to the body of Christ. Amen. Sunday morning, I had to slip out to celebrate with him. Glory to God. And with that, what an awesome man of God. And we thank God for you, sir. It's good to see my daughter. Evangelist Michelle Lang, long time don't see. God bless you, Evangelist Lang. We're praying for you. We know you're one of the front liners in the hospital. But we got you. We got you. We got you. Amen. We got you covered. Praise God. Thank God for Joseph Smith and Avril Smith. Avril Lewis Smith, missionary. 
We greet you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. We are so grateful that God has put good people in our lives who can pray for us. Praise God. It's good to see Vandalist Priscilla Smiley Campbell. My God. God bless you tonight. Pray. And also missionary Patricia Bible. God bless you. Good to see you. My wife, Evangelist Beverly Smith, send greetings in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ to everyone tonight. I have something special for you tonight, and I'm glad that you're here. My God, and the eagles are coming in. So we thank God for you tonight. Amen. I had a song laid, you know, line up, but I think I might sing the song another time. We're just going to do one song. Amen. For your goodness is chasing after me. But let us pray, eternal God and our Father, we thank you tonight. We glorify your name. We thank you because you have granted unto us all things that pertains to life and godliness. We thank you, Father God, because it is you who have made us and not we ourselves. Bless our hearts tonight. Everyone, Lord God, that is on this Oh God, this network tonight, live stream, hearing the word. I pray God you'll edify them, strengthen them in the inner man. God, I pray you'll give me clarity of thoughts and mind to speak a word, Lord God, with the unction of the Holy Spirit, that your name will be glorified tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so God is good. All, everyone, the saints tonight, I welcome you. If I don't call your name, amen, I welcome all of you. I thank God tonight for my Dana. Dana, Lord, have mercy. I couldn't do it without Dana. Amen, our technician. Glory to God. I thank God for her tonight. Amen. God is good. All right, lift your hand right where you are. Let's give the Lord a praise because his goodness is chasing after you. Glory to God. I love you, Lord. What a powerful song. Oh, your mercy never fails. It never fails. All my day. All my day. I've been held in your head. <laughs> From the moment that I wake up. From the moment Until I lay my head Oh, I will see God bless you Of the goodness of God bless you Missionary Mac Mackie Out of Cause all my heart. life You have been saved All my life And all, all my, my life, life You have been so Tisha Roll, God bless you. You will let me through the fire. Yes, Jesus. Ah, God. And in darkest night, you were close like no other. I've known you as a father. I love you as a friend. I've known you as a friend. Oh, and I have lived in the goodness of God.
Why don't you clap your hands and give the Lord a praise right where you are? Your goodness, hallelujah, is chasing after me. My God, what a good song tonight. Amen. I just really fall in love with that song because it speaks volume to all of us. Because God has been good to all of us. Truth be told, if it not, had not been for the goodness of God, we would not be standing here tonight. So all my life, all my life, God has been good to me. All right, turn your Bibles with me tonight. I'm not going to hoop and holler tonight. I'm just going to download something in you. I need you to pay special attention tonight because I believe that what God has impressed on my heart it's very important that you hear and understand because there's so much confusion going on and I believe that God wants us not only to understand the times that we are living in but God wants the people of God, the body of Christ, amen, to stand firm. Stand firm. I believe, amen, that there's too much voices in the earth that we are hearing. So tonight what I'm going to do, I'm going to speak expressly to the body of Christ. To the believers what I have to say tonight is for every child of God I was thinking today if only I could get this word get this opportunity to speak this word into every child of God's life I would be so grateful but I know that God is going to give us the opportunity because there are so many voices in the earth that causing so much confusion and the people of God are misinformed concerning the time that we are living in I will not go in depth into this but I just want you to put this in your spirit there's a difference between miracles, signs, and wonders. I want you to put that in your spirit. I get back to that another time. But I want you to know this. There is a difference between miracles, signs, and wonders. Amen. Necessary that you understand that because signs is a pointing post to let you know something is about to happen signs are different from miracle is different from wonders Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1 and verse 4 and 5 comfort ye Comfort ye my people, said God. Anytime you read the Bible, and at the end you hear it said, Set God, or thus said the Lord. 
It calls for your attention. It calls for your attention. Because God is telling you, I have something to say. And what God is saying tonight, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, said the Lord. Notice what he said. He said, my people. Every valley shall be exalted. Bless God. Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hills shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight. God said, and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. Verse 5. After he done all of that. Verse 5. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. My God. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it look what he said comfort ye comfort ye my people said the Lord every valley shall be exalted and ah, every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together all flesh shall see it together see what see what together the glory of the Lord the glory of the Lord speaks in terms of the weightiness of God's manifestation and reputation puts on display. The glory right here is speak in terms of the weightiness of God's reputation. My God manifesting in the earth. In other words, God is getting ready to put himself on display. And all flesh, doesn't matter where you are, the Bible said, all flesh shall see together. All flesh shall see together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. What I want to teach on tonight, get ready for the shift. I heard in my spirit, shift. And God is telling me to tell the saints of God and to teach them how to get ready for this end time shift. Because a significant shift is taking place right now. Right now. A very significant shift is taking place right now. God is advancing the kingdom by spiritual degrees. God is advancing the kingdom by spiritual degrees. And saying of God, we are living in the time of great shifting. Great shifting is taking place. I taught a couple of weeks ago from Haggai chapter 2 where I speak in terms of God said I'm going to shake up the things. I'm going to shake all nations. I'm going to shake up kingdoms. I'm going to shake. God said I'm going to shake all things in the earth. And the desire of all men shall turn to God. Tonight God tell me I must teach on Get ready 
for the shift. A shift is coming to your house. Not only to your house, but to the nations of the world. And it's already begun. A significant shift is taking place right now. And God is advancing the kingdom by spiritual degrees. And that's why I want to major on tonight because this shift that God is doing right now, what God is really doing, God is realigning. God is realigning and restructuring the church. Not only his church, but the Lord is realigning and restructuring the church because both leaders and church must be free to operate in the higher calling and giftings of God. And because of this, God wants to upgrade our method. The purpose of this shift, hear me child of God, you don't sit and listen. The purpose of this shift that is taking place right now is that God wants to upgrade our methods. God wants to upgrade our structure and the models to be able to impact the world. Can I say that again? The purpose of this shift that is taking place right now. God is realigning and restructuring the church. Because both leaders and church must be free to operate in the higher calling and the giftings of God. There's a higher calling than just the ordinary call. God want to take the body of Christ, the leaders of the church in the higher calling, in a higher realm, in a higher place. And also to manifest the gift of God like never before. Also, number two, the purpose of this shifting, God wants to upgrade your method. God wants to upgrade your method, your structure. And model to be able to impact the world. I know that shifting is hard. Because sometimes the shiftings that God is doing amongst the body of Christ. Sometimes people are afraid of the shift. Because when you heard about shift it speaks about moving from one place to the other. He also speaks in terms of you have to abandon the old for the new. And I am very concerned in my spirit. The way things are going on in our world. The way things are going on and what's happening even amongst the Christians. And I'm here to give you perspective so that you won't be confused as others. Either will you be confused by the news and what you hear on the media. Because saints of God, the finger of God is about to move in the earth. The fingerprint of God is about to come upon the face of the whole earth. What are you talking about preacher? Because there is an understanding that we need to sustain. There is an understanding that we as a church, the body of Christ, we need to sustain to that which is more superior to that which is in the common place. In other words, the information that we are getting from the world we cannot take it at face value as directive from God. Because God does not need an ungodly man to give directive to the church. You've got to understand that. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. And the church operates totally in another realm. Somebody say amen to that. 
So there is an understanding that we need to sustain brothers and sisters to that which is more superior to that which is in the common place mean common carnal knowledge there has to be an understanding of this season amen is needed for us to partner with the holy spirit we've got to understand the season because if we don't understand this season, we can miss what God is doing in these last days. My God, I feel like I'm standing on the prophetic platform tonight. So therefore, child of God, you've got to know this and know it well. That an understanding of this season is needed. What? To partner with the Holy Spirit and to become vessels through which God dividend of the kingdom demonstrating his power in the earth i'm telling you what you see happening around us is not an activity of god's agenda no 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 <laughs> i know you i know you say what are you talking about man the the the, the, the virus and the, the remedy for the virus and all these confusion in the earth god is operating on his agenda in a sense in a sense in a sense because anything happening in the universe based upon the providence of god god is in total control but what i'm saying to you tonight church of god and hear me well what you see happening around us it is not an activity of the agenda it is a distraction <laughs> hear me it is a distraction it has to become a distraction to many people because of the inability to interpret the significant within the scheme of what god is about to do glory to god because god is up to something you remember i told you that remember what i said you know you must try and remember commit these things to memory because i'm speaking prophetically and these things what i'm saying to you today you will hear them again because out of the mouth of two and three witnesses every word will be established i said god is up to something the devil had the, the devil and the virus and the remedy is at a center stage and a global platform right now and up to this point no one acknowledged god you notice that you notice that hmm. you better pay attention don't just watch the news and get nervous and start pulling your hair out and talk about the antichrist is coming you better pay attention and keep your spirit open to hear what God is saying. It was 4.59 a.m. When God started to give me this download. Glory to God. 4.59 a.m. I should be sleeping. But in the early morning. God took the sleep from my eyes. And start to alert me. And start to communicate with my spirit. Concerning the things that are happening in the earth. And he says, son, I have raised you up to put the trumpet to your mouth. To talk to the people of Zion. So that they won't lose faith. And lose courage. And lose their confidence in God. And put their confidence in the arms of flesh. I told you, God is up to something. Hear me? You notice now, the devil... And his virus, COVID-19. And his remedy is on a center stage. On a global platform right now. But you notice, up to this point, no one acknowledged God. That's what the devil wants. He wants to be on the center stage. He wants to show off. And act like, I got it. 
I'm the one in charge. I'm the boss. But saints of God, when they think it's peace and safety, sudden destruction. He that have an ear to hear tonight, you will hear what I said. Because revelation will activate your spirit and illuminate you. So that you can receive, you can become a receptacle of the word of God tonight. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You watch around the world. In less than a year, everything, the global stage was set on one thing. The virus. That's how the devil works. That's how the devil works. In less than 12 months, the global system or the world globally was touched by a plague called COVID. Hear me now. Just the same way the virus has affected everyone in the whole world. Glory to God. In less than 12 months, the gospel of Jesus Christ is going to affect the whole world in less than a day. You better hear this. In less than a day. Hear me? I didn't say in, in a week. Because everything God does, he does it speedily. Glory to God. Hear me, saints of God. Hear me tonight. When they think it's peace and safety. Sudden destruction. God said, they left me out of this again. But out of this darkness, hear this now. This is a download. Out of the darkness, what God is working on. I say, out of the darkness, God is working behind the scene. And God is about to manifest his hand. Amen. And God's hand is going to find expression in the whole world. The devil can sit on the stage now. He can exalt himself as he is God. He can stretch out his hand and brace out his chest. And, and shut down everything globally. But the devil didn't shut it down. God allows it. Hear me, hear me, hear me. And that's why. Romans, I hope you understand this. Romans chapter 1. Hear what Romans chapter 1 said. I'm talking about get ready for the shift. Romans chapter 1. Amen. In verse 20. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. Mm -hmm. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise but become fools. My God. Hear me church. Hear me. God is working behind the scene. It's out of the darkness that God rise up. And show the world and the nations of the world that he's still God. If you can remember, it was from March. God shut down the world. God shut down the world so that everyone can be aware of what's coming. Hey, I told you it wasn't the devil shut it down. Because the devil have to have a controller. And God is the one that controls everything in the universe. So we ain't going to give him no glory. God shut down the world. <laughs> I said God shut it down. So that everyone can be aware of what's coming. It is not the manifestation of the Antichrist that's coming. Glory to God. I'm telling you tonight. I told you some of you are not going to be able to handle this tonight because you're done that you don't believe and you don't listen to what they said in the natural that the antichrist this is the antichrist I come to tell you in here 
God shut down the world so that everyone can be aware of what's coming. And it's not the manifestation of the Antichrist that coming. Get ready. I'm getting ready to blow your fuse now. It is the manifestation of the true church of the living God. That's going to rise up out of the darkness. And overturn the kingdom of darkness. And demonstrate the power of the living God. Oh glory to God. My God. Oh, I promise I wouldn't get excited tonight. But I want you to know, child of God, you've got to see things through the eyes of the Spirit from God's perspective. Oh, so the Antichrist, where is he coming? He can't come yet because the church has to rise up out of the darkness and demonstrate the power of God like never before. You see an example you see an example in Revelation chapter 11. You can read it tonight before you go to your bed. As a matter of fact, I can read it for you. Because the devil is on the stage now. He's on the global chest chain. He's pressing out his chest. His stick is getting all the glory for everything. But hear this. Revelation chapter 11 verse 1. I was given, this was John on the Isle of Patmos. Hear me what I said before, that God shut down the world. It was God that shut down the world. Everything was shut down. Church was shut down. School was shut down. Everything in the world was shut down. God did it. Why? Because everyone can be aware of what's coming. And it's not the manifestation of the Antichrist. What's coming is the manifestation of the true church of the living God. Pastors, please pray for me. Because this true church of the living God is rising up. Joel chapter 2 told us that the armies of God is going to rise up. And he talked about the three different horses that are going to ride. Glory to God. And the true church of the living God. Amen. Will never allow the devil to sit on the stage. And brace out his chest. And intimidate the world. And act like he's God. And God fold his hand. And sit back and say let the devil have his way. No sir. The devil is a liar tapped into the mind of God, child of God. Ah, this manifestation that's coming is not the manifestation of the Antichrist. It's the manifestation of the true church of the living God overturning the kingdom of darkness and demonstrating the power of the living God. David came up against Goliath and David said, who is that uncircumcised Philistine that come to defy the Holy One of Israel? Let that devil huff. Let that devil puff his time is almost up the season is about to shift glory to God revelation chapter 1 I was given a reed like a measuring rod was told go and measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshippers whoo but exclude, I'm reaching for the NIV version. But exclude the outer court. Do not measure it. Because it has been given to the Gentiles. And they will trample on the holy city for 42 months. That is three and a half years. Remember, it's seven years of tribulation. Three and a half years of tribulation and three and a half years of great tribulation glory to god that's what you're talking about verse three and i will appoint my two witnesses i god said i will appoint my two witnesses and they will prophesy for 100 260 days again that's three and a half years 
The Bible said they will be clothed with sackcloth. These two witnesses, these two witnesses that are going to prophesy, the Bible said they will be clothed in sackcloth. They will not be wearing robe like the pontiff of Rome. <laughs> because a lot of the, uh, the Catholic principles has crept into the church. Where you even have bishops sitting in the chair with big hats on the head and big crosses look like they are from the pontiff. You're not saying anything and big rings on their finger. That is not the house of God. This is not how the house of God must be run. That's not the garb of God's men. That's not how God's men are to dress. He said you are not to preach, pray, or prophesy with your head covered. What are you doing with cut, with hat on your head when you're a man? You violate the word of the living God. God, oh Yasha, I told you God shut the thing down. God shut the thing down. I said God shut it down. When God shut it down, nobody can open it. I know some of you might be getting uncomfortable tonight, but I don't want you to say nothing. Just sit right there and listen to me. God sent me to put the trumpet to my mouth. And when God said put the trumpet to your mouth, he means to warn the people. Oh, the trumpet means to gather in. When I blow the trumpet, I must get your attention. Glory to God. 1,260 1, days. Three and a half years. Clothed in sackcloth. Why sackcloth? Picking up a mourning. Picking up a wailing. Picking up a prophetic burden for the nations of the world. Because the next three and a half years. Oh, during the great tribulation period. There will be trouble and distress in the earth like never before. Hear me church. Hear me church. Ah, there's no time to play church now, saints of God. If you, the Gentile, miss the rapture, oh Lord, have mercy, it's finished for you. Can't afford to miss the rapture. Three and a half years. Listen, verse four. And there are two olive trees. Two olive trees mean two anointed vessels released in the earth. By the power of God. And how the Bible says. There are two lamps stand. And they stand before the Lord of the earth. They stand before the Lord of the earth. Verse 5. And if anyone tries to harm them. Fire from God comes out of their mouth. Lord have mercy. And devour their enemies. Hear me, I'm reading Revelation 11, verse 5. This is how anyone who wants to harm them must die. Anybody who tries to harm those two witnesses, those two olive trees, whether it's two groups comes out of the seven churches, yes or no, we will talk about that. I know some of you are saying, well, it's Moses and Elijah. Wrong. Moses and Elijah can't come back to preach the gospel because they are not witnesses to the gospel. Are you hearing me tonight? Moses represents the law and Elijah represents the prophet. Are you hearing me today? But God have New Testament prophets. God have New Testament servants of God that comes out at the seven church age. That he purifies. He sanctified. And he have them hidden up to this moment. And they are going to declare the whole counsel of God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Is few men today can stand up and declare I'm a true man of God. You hear what I said? You have a whole lot of people walking around talking, I'm a man of God. You, 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 oh please, come on. Number five. <laughs> if any man tries to harm them, fires come out of their mouth and devour their enemies. This is how anyone who wants to harm these two who are anointed vessels of God Amen. That God released in the earth for three and a half years to preach the word of God to the Jews. 
to preach the word of God to the nation of Israel because by then the church will be out of here are you hearing me but these two witnesses they're gonna have the power of God to bring down fire from heaven I'm telling you God is raising up men and women and in this time when God is getting ready amen to release the true church of the living God they're gonna have signs and wonders we are gonna shut up the heaven we're gonna control the elements why because God is getting ready to show that devil who is in charge my God I feel God in here number six verse six the Bible said look at that they have power to shut up the heaven so that it will not rain during the time they are prophesying hmm. prophesying a prophecy a prophet is a sign a prophet comes to warn you a prophet comes to communicate the mind of God to you so you can take a man heed to your ways the prophet that God has mantled the prophet is an announcer that foretell and foretell hear me not like these prophets today there are no prophets today like they say they are god have his true prophets who are warning you and pointing you to jesus and telling you that he's coming soon these lie prophets all they do is want your money glory to god but the devil is a liar god have true prophets. these prophets who just prophesy for money they are not true prophets of god they are gonna come off the scene and you'll never hear anything about them again glory to god but verse six they have power to shut up the heavens so that there will be no rain during the time they are prophesying and they have power to turn the water into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they want hear me verse 7 i'm going somewhere now when they have finished these testimony when they finish their testimony the testimony of christ when they finish giving testimony of Christ, when they finish giving their prophecy, glory to God, when they finish preaching the gospel, the last gospel, the end time gospel, this gospel of the kingdom must preach to the all the world and then shall the end be. When they finish their testimony, watch this David, hear me. Now when they finish their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will attack them and overpower them and kill them. Now, the stage is set. Ah, the virus, the remedy, and the devil right now is on the stage. Bracing out their chest. Nobody mentioned one time about God. The nations that forget God. Will suffer the judgments of God. Verse 8. They kill the two witnesses. And here now. Their body will lie in the public square. Which is a great city. And which is figuratively called Sodom and Egypt. I'm reading the Bible. Where also their Lord was crucified. Right where they crucified Jesus. And the Bible says for three and a half days. Some from every people. Every tribe. Every language. Every nations of the world shall gaze upon their bodies and refuse to bury them they didn't want to hear the prophets they didn't want to hear the testimony of jesus christ so what they did they killed the prophet and leave them in the street and when they leave them in the street they was in the street for three days are you hearing me and for the three days nobody tries to bury them my god and instead of burying them 
instead of mourning their demise look at verse 10 the whole earth will start to rejoice and celebrate and sending each other's gift because those two prophets had tormented those who live in the earth by preaching the truth and the whole truth of the living God. But after three days, glory to God, after three and a half days, the Bible said the breath of life from God entered them and they stood on their feet and terror struck who saw them now this is what i want to point out to you i know you got it i know you got it the darkness is over the earth right now and gross darkness the people the virus the remedy amen and those agents that have the spirit of the antichrist and the devil they are on the stage globally and they do not mention anything about god are you hearing me here they don't mention anything about the church and even you as a christian praise god you're fearful you are intimidated you're nervous i come to stabilize you tonight ah when the dust clear out of the darkness the church of the living god is gonna rise up like never before we ain't dead we ain't dead devil we ain't dead for jesus said upon this rock will i build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it if you're in the church stay in the church if you're sanctified stay sanctified if you're righteous stay righteous if you're holy stay holy ah god because the devil does not have the last say and the devil is not in charge ah god there's something coming the church is getting ready to rise up in power glory to god hallelujah Woo. ah sorry if i get excited ah i just felt like something just turned over in my spirit they killed the two witnesses and left them there for dead that in the street and they're having a party and they're rejoicing over the works of their own hand glory to god but the bible said after three and a half days my brothers and sister the church that they think was dead the man of god that they think was dead out of the ashes ah god the true church of the living god rise up and start to manifest in the earth somebody better give the lord a praise in here verse 12 then they heard a loud voice from heaven saying to them come up here and they went up into heaven in clouds while their enemies look on there's going to be a global manifestation of the power and the presence of God. Hold fast to your faith, child of God. Get ready for the shift. Do you feel like you're in a turbulent place in your life right now and nothing seems to be going right? I have good news for you. God is shifting you in place. And God is shifting you into a place of blessing. And I come to tell you there are so many of God's people who are walking in antiquated revelation and concept that produces confusion and frustration of spirit because they are not walking in the present tense of the revelation of what God is doing in the now remember what i told you child of god that god don't operate of our calendar god operates of his calendar glory to god and that's why it is critical that you speak to god every day <laughs> hey, glory to god hear me speak to god every day you can't get rich anymore if you wasn't rich before, you're not going to get rich again. This is the last day. This is the last era. I believe next week I will teach you about the seven churches in Asia mind. How God has seven churches that represent the seven church age. 
And all these seven churches, he find fault with them. But in the seven churches, there were some in that church that he pulls out and calls overcomers. So right now, we're in the last church age, the Leotusian church age. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. The lukewarm age. That's why God had to shut down everything. It is critical. It's critical. It's, crit it's very critical that you speak to God every day. And more importantly, you allow him to speak back to you. Because you can miss the move of God. Are you hearing me? You miss the move of God. Because your spirit that is regenerated, it was designed to hear from God. Hear me? Because hearing from God and speaking back to God is the hallmark, is the signature that you are a Christian. Hey, for the natural man cannot hear or receive the things of God. You got to be born again, child of God. So you're not a Christian because you speak in tongues. Da, 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 da. You're not a Christian because you're baptizing water. All oh, that is good. But you're a Christian because your spirit has been born again. And there are realms of God personalities being revealed right now that was not known five minutes ago. And this is why a shift is necessary. I can't finish it tonight. I said, there are realms of God's personality is being revealed right now. That was not known five minutes ago. Because God is not stagnant. God is always moving and doing something swifter than you think. And this is why the shift is necessary. Well, a divine shift is a supernatural move. A divine shift is a supernatural move from one place to another. Oh, you, did, you, 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 you didn't know that. You didn't. God has just shifted you. The whole earth under you has shifted just now. God has just shifted something in your life. You didn't even realize that. That's how sudden and how fast it is. A divine shift is a supernatural move from one place to another. A slight change in the position or direction. A supernatural act of putting one thing in place of another or changing the place of a person or a thing. A divine shift will cause supernatural advancement and or upgrade in your spiritual, your mental, your emotional, your physical, your financial, your career, your character, your conduct, and your status. Somebody shall shift. Glory to God. My God. Oh, Jesus. A divine shift is taking place. Such a, such, a, such a shift that is taking place is faster than the eye. It's God thing. God is doing it. God is up to something. That's why, that's why, that's why some of us are kept alive as a witness. Oh, we pass. Some of you, praise God, you've been serving the Lord for many years. Oh, you're on the road a long time. But you're no way tired yet. Why? Because God wants to keep you alive so you can witness the shift. You can witness the church hurting out of darkness and shaking the kingdom of the world. A divine shift will cause a supernatural advancement and or an upgrade in your spiritual. I could do with an upgrade, a spiritual upgrade. Most of us need a spiritual upgrade. Everybody say, Lord, upgrade me, upgrade me, upgrade my spirit, God, so that I can be sensitive to what you're doing in these last days. Somebody shall shift I said prophesy shift divine shift huh, huh, in your mental in your emotional 
in your physical so you've been sick a long time i come to speak a word into your spirit tonight shift in your financial in your career in your character in your conduct and your status god is saying to you in this shift follow the instruction Woo! Hayasa, hayasa. Because some of God's people having a problem following instruction. Because we think we're saved, we have credentials, so we want no instruction from anybody. God said in this shift, follow the instructions. Keep quiet. I got this. <laughs> God said, follow instruction. Keep quiet. I got it. I got it. This victory for the church is already won. The balance of power has shifted into your favor. My God. The balance of power has shifted into your favor. Somebody say, grace has tilted into your favor. Hmm. If you keep marching by faith, suddenly everything that been in your way is going to move. Five more minutes. Keep quiet. Follow instruction. God said, I got this. You don't even have to fight. I got this. You don't have to sweat. I got this. You don't have to worry and have a nervous breakdown. I got this. The devil is on the stage with all his stuff. Ah, the strutting. The strutting is tough. But his time is about to up. God said his time is about to up. So the church of the living God must get ready for the shift. What a word. For the Egyptians that you see today, you will see them again no more forever somebody shall shift hear this a god shift can seem like chaos at times but don't let your situation become a deterrence to your praise a god shift minister hansen will always take you through situations that prove that with Jesus, if life brings it to you, God is going to bring you through it. I can do all things through Christ who strengtheneth me. Hear me now. God is shifting you into position for the promise. I'm prophesying to somebody tonight. God is shifting you in to position for the promise that you have been praying for. Sometimes a God shift looks like chaos. It looks like setback and even defeat. But God is saying to you tonight, when the dust is all settled, you will understand why you had to go through what you've been through. Oh, if you're in the middle of a shift tonight, you've already noticed that change is happening that does not make sense. Change is happening in your life right now. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Why? Because you're in the middle of a shift. When a God shift starts, your whole world can seem like it's falling apart, child of God. All hell can seem to be breaking loose. Wave over wave of tests will make you feel like you have been punished by God. But don't you panic. In order for God to shift us into position, he has to shift us out of condition that prevents our shift. God is putting a period where there is a question mark. God is closing some wrong doors that the enemy has opened for us to try.
trap us in. God sent me to teach to you tonight. Get ready for the shift. Because it's out of the darkness that the true church of the living God is going to rise up. I hope you get this word tonight. I hope you get this word tonight. The end of my first song. <laughs> I hope you get this word tonight. I felt in my spirit tonight, I felt the urgency in my spirit tonight to bring this word to you. And that's why God said, comfort ye, comfort my people, said God, every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and every hill shall be made low. And the crooked shall be made straight and the rough places plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Church of the living God, Zion, God said get ready for the shift. God bless your father God in the name of Jesus. I thank you tonight God for your word. I thank you for clarity of thoughts and mind. I pray tonight, God, that everyone that hear your word will understand it by the revelatory knowledge and spiritual insight. Oh God, they will understand the move and understand what you're doing behind the scene. They will have understanding, oh God, that they are not the left out, but you have sealed them. You have put a mark on them, oh God. And no enemy, no demons, no devil can destroy them. Oh God, because when the cloud is all over, the church of the living God will rise up in the power of the Holy Spirit. For the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former. And Lord, we thank you tonight, God, and we glorify your name. Lord God, I ask that you strengthen your people out of Zion. God, those who you have kept alive for such a time as this to showcase your power and to shake the kingdoms of the world. Lord God, you said, he that have an ear to hear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying tonight. Lord, in the name of Jesus, uh, build a wall of fire around them, preserve them. You have kept them alive until now. And oh God, none shall be last except they abide in the ship. And we thank you tonight, God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Go ahead, Dana. You will run my life, Spirit of the Living God. You will run my life, Spirit of the Living God. I've been one, I've been one. Hallelujah. Jesus Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. My King of the Oh, glory to God. The righteous shall survive. The righteous shall shine. Glory to God. Glory to God, the righteous shall shine. The righteous shall shine. I heard God said, The righteous shall shine. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Sanda, Rabba, Sasa. Glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I heard deep in my spirit just now. The Spirit of God speak in my spirit. 
the righteous shall shine the righteous shall shine I come to stabilize your faith tonight I come to tell those who are cast down those who are nervous those who are fearful in Zion God said the righteous shall shine are you hearing me are you hearing me tonight God said the righteous shall shine get ready for the shift get ready for the shift I know it looked bad now but you as a child of God you are taught to walk by faith and not by sight you are taught not to operate in the natural but in the supernatural realm so don't let what your eyes see determine what your heart believe the righteous shall shine the righteous shall shine the true church will arise out of that darkness and shake the kingdom of the world God have a reputation for that God have a reputation for that so relax take it easy chill ah rest in your God the peace of God will that pass and always understanding will keep your heart and your mind oh the righteous the righteous shall shine all the things you're going through is a shaking around you to shift you in position that God can get the glory out of your life what a mighty God we serve come on clap your hands in the house and give the Lord a praise like you love him give the Lord a praise like you love him Lord I hear you I hear you I hear you yes I love you Jesus yes Jesus The righteous sunshine. The righteous sunshine. I want hell to hear it. The righteous shall shine. Glory to God. Jesus, oh Jesus, hallelujah, 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 glory to God, God bless you tonight, God bless you tonight, and know that he that have an ear, I told you, I came to speak to the believers, to those who have the ear turn up, oh God, it was Elijah that said, I hear the sound of the abundance abundance of rain he hear it on the inside of his spirit and God have some people tonight that hearing they're hearing they're hearing they are hearing they're hearing they're hearing something they're hearing the heartbeat of God God bless you oh father cover them under your blood tonight I draw the bloodline of protection around your people oh God strengthen them in the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus name let everybody say amen God bless you tomorrow night zoom my God that's where the eagles gather you don't want to miss that we're tapping into the mind of God every Wednesday night and Thursday night you can go on Facebook and you'll get the zoom ID the same ID we use every Wednesday I want everybody to share it share it invite 10 people tomorrow night glory to God tomorrow night is a special night glory to God I want 500 people in the church tomorrow night. So invite everyone. I mean compel them. Beg them. They got to hear the word of the Lord. And tomorrow night. Amen. And Thursday night. Friday night right here. Deliverance service. God is moving by his spirit. Whatever you do. Oh whatever you do. Don't you ever sit in your house. And don't go on Zoom tomorrow night. And God will bless you. God bless you tonight. What good. See you when I see you. Grace, peace and mercy be unto you. From God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. I love you in Jesus' name.